ways, sports-wise, Lena put this community on the map. Because prosperity is hard work. If you're not willing to work hard, get out of this gym. Get off of this hardwood floor. When you think of Granbury, one of the immediate things you think of, even if you're not a sports fan, is Lena Andrews. As a player back in the 50s, uh, she led them to state twice. I have the philosophy, you step on that floor, let's make it a masterpiece, better than what it was yesterday. It has set so many milestones and she's on the verge of, of setting the largest milestone. So I know it'll be a big moment in time. It was a big moment in time when I became the uh, winningest female coach. I thought I would grow up to be the next Dolly Parton. And so when I'd ride the bus home, I'd get off the bus and go down to the barnyard and I would sing to the cows, the chickens, or whatever. And finally one day, my daddy told me, he said, I think you need to put that singing on the back burner. I took his advice and uh, I dribbled around and dribbled and on, out on gravel and it became a, a pretty good ball handler because it hit a rock and go and I could move with it and everything. I came home from school about two weeks later and Daddy had mounted me a basketball goal in the chicken yard. Not only did I was a good ball handler, but I became an outstanding rebounder because when I shot that ball, I didn't want it to hit the ground because you knew what it would have landed in. <laughs> but I am self-motivated because I want to give my very best. I want my young ladies to give the very best. So my expectations are very, very, very high. She's tough in a way that clearly brings out the best in them. You don't have 1,328 wins without bringing out the best in your players. I uh, dress like I'm going to the classroom because that is a classroom. She's tough on her players. Give all that you got because even if you're smaller or slower than somebody else, if you give enough effort you can beat them every time. And I'm thinking, we got to win six ball games this season. Uh, how long will it take us? But uh, we're going to be prepared for it. And we're going to go and, and, and get the job done. My, my daughters think I'll just probably die on the basketball floor. And I, I would die happy doing exactly what I enjoy doing.